Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. I have here a CZ-82 or VZ-82 pistol. Replacing the CZ-52, this was produced in Czechoslovakia, where they were continuing their tradition of creating their own firearms domestically instead of just adapting Warsaw Pact firearms. On this occasion, they designed and built this pistol instead of adapting the Makarov. They share the 9mm Makarov cartridge, but this is a different pistol and superior to their Eastern Bloc counterpart in several ways. Though, to be fair, they did have an advantage of about 30 extra years since the Makarov first went into production in the 50s and this began production in the 80s. The CZ-82 has a 12 plus 1 capacity with a double stacked single feed magazine, while the Makarov is a single stack 7 plus 1. This does make the grip of the CZ-82 slightly wider than the Makarov's, but not by much considering the difference in capacity. The CZ-82 grips are also two separate pieces, while the Makarov's is one wraparound piece. The CZ-82 grips do have a tendency to break off in this upper portion here next to the safety which you can see on this example. The CZ-82 also has an ambidextrous magazine release and safety. The safety on the CZ-82 is just a safety, while the Makarov's safety also acts as a decocker, but it is not ambidextrous and has a heel release magazine instead of a push button. The CZ-82 also has a slide release as well as the Makarov does. These have chrome-lined bores with polygonal rifling, which, if you are not familiar with that, it looks almost smooth in comparison to the look of a traditional barrel where you can see the lands and grooves. This was done due to ammunition spec concerns in the country. It is a single-action, double-action blowback with a fixed barrel like the Makarov, the rear sight is also windage adjustable. Disassembly between the two is also very similar in the PPK style. You have to remove the magazine, pull down the trigger guard, and then pull back the slide lift up, leaving you a frame mounted barrel, a slide, and a recoil spring. And then put it back, it's just pull it back, and then snap back in place. One thing about the CZ82, this remains in place no matter what, while on the Makarov to do this, you actually have to move it over to the side and it actually rests on the frame. So if you have it straight across, it'll snap back into place. Other than the serialization on the barrel and slide, there are not a lot of markings on the CZ-82. SHE on the frame indicates manufacture at the Uherski Brod factory, followed by the year of manufacture, in this case 88 for 1988. The crossed swords after the year is the military acceptance mark for this pistol. Military issued magazines will also have a crossed sword stamp, though they are not serialized to the firearm in any other way. The black, almost paint-like finish is pretty thin and easily worn, as you can tell by this example, especially compared to the nice look of the Bulgarian Makarov with a good plum safety and hammer. This is a reproduction Makarov holster, pretty standard stuff. Have the firearm and a spare magazine pouch. While the CZ-82's military holster is definitely an interesting design and departure from the standard holsters. Looking more like a pouch than a regular holster, it is uniquely suited to be ambidextrous, keeping left-handed shooters in mind, being able to be worn on either hip and set up properly without any alterations. You simply insert your spare magazine first, depending on how you want the firearm oriented, and it actually helps keep it in place, and that's all you have to do. Then you do the reverse if you want to change 
the dominant hand on which and which hip you wear it on. Simply as that, no actual alteration needed. There's also room in there for a cleaning rod. There is a crossed sword stamp on the holster as well, though it's kind of faded here. Notably, the CZ-82, along with many Czechoslovak firearms, was specifically added to the Curio and Relic list by the ATF, which means if you have a C and R FFL, you can have it mailed directly to you, even if it is not old enough to be on the list naturally. These were manufactured until about 1993 and have been seen around the world adopted to some extent in Kazakhstan, Vietnam, Slovenia, North Korea, and even a few Israeli police units. There is a commercial export variant, the CZ-83, which also can be chambered in 380 or 32 ACP as well, but they're otherwise indistinguishable. It is a fun low shooter and still relatively inexpensive for what it is. It was definitely cheaper a few years ago when I picked this one up, as they were coming onto the surplus market, though as of filming, there is a batch available at AIM Surplus. I have no affiliation with them, but I'm sure prices will continue to rise. So if you are interested, now is always the time to buy when you are talking about military surplus, especially if you have an interest in Cold War firearms. That's all I have for today. Let me know if you think the CZ-82 is better than standard Makarovs or if you have any experience with the pistol. Be sure to subscribe for more content, like the video, and share it with others to help this channel grow. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.